today. A controversial topic. So we're putting the green down. So fun, right? Today, the topic of the century, do you need an ND filter to make a video? We're gonna run through a few examples that we shot with an ND and some that we did not. And you get to pick what you think they were. Also, if it's before July 14th, 2022, you can get access to all of my membership website, which is all my courses and all my presets and all my LUTs and everything that I've ever made, all the premium content for $30 a month rather than $40 a month, or you can sign up annually and get it for less. So you can learn how to book weddings or make a wedding video or how to get paid to travel. Onto the video. What is an ND filter? You probably know if you click this video. What an ND does is it makes the world darker. So the idea is that you, if you're a proper cinematographer, you observe the 180 rule, which means you shoot double your frame rate. So if you're shooting, for instance, 30 frames, 30p that I'm shooting right now, I know, right? Not 24, wild. If I'm shooting 30p, my frame rate as it is right now, it should be one slash 60th of a second. So when I move my hand like this, you get some nice natural motion blur. If we were to do something crazy, like go all the way up to 6400 ISO and crank the shutter to one slash 3200, now all of a sudden I'm really choppy and that's not so good. So use an ND to make life smoother. It also adds project consistency as well that from start to finish, if everything is shot at 180 shutter, everything is nice and cohesive and pleasing to the eye. However, we're gonna show you some examples right now. Let's begin. Example number one. Is this shot with an ND filter or no ND filter? This is from an upcoming project that we shot in Italy. And I would like for you to, to make a mental note or maybe type it in a comment, but don't hit the send button yet. Do, do all of them and uh, let me know how you did. Here we go. 98% of photographers will never make it. And that's because, oh, you're over here now. Nothing worth having comes easy. That sounds like the title of a short film. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. So, was that project shot with an ND filter or no ND filter? What is your decision? Next, a project in Iceland. Let's go. This location is beautiful, but the photos feel empty. How many people have taken this exact same photo today? Am I actually here because I want to be, or did I just come here because of the hype? Is this some sort of social media conquest? Whatever it is, I feel like I'm here to take photos that already exist. To generate content, to have something to post, to get interaction, to get likes, to get validation. I'm starting to think this trip was more for ego than for art. Next up, a wedding day that I just did. Let's see a few shots. ND filter or no ND filter. This is the last one. Lock your choices in now. Hit enter in the comments. You don't have to play. It's embarrassing. I'm sorry for me forcing you to comment. Let's just watch the clip. So there it is. How well did you do? Do you need an ND filter? Do you not need an ND filter? Does a normal person really see anything? If you're doing something like a wedding film or a music video where there are kind of no rules that you can jump between frame rates and it's probably fine, do you require one? On a wedding day, I came from the background of doing both photo and video coverage as one human being, so I could not use NDs. So actually what I use, and I did not use this in any of the clips that you saw, is a plugin called Real Smart Motion Blur, which emulates some of the, we're still at one slash 32, does that bother you? Do you care? I don't think you care. Here we are back at one slash 60th of a second. I hope that you feel calm now. 
So we use a plugin called Real Smart Motion Blur that emulates it. It doesn't do exactly what you would get shooting a 180 shutter rule, but it does a pretty close job, surprisingly. So that's what we use. If anything does really stick out to us in a final project, I would say I'm primarily making wedding films and YouTube content. YouTube, no one cares what my shutter speed is right now, but for wedding films, I'm gonna say every other week, there's maybe one shot. So every other wedding film, maybe every third wedding film, there's one, maybe two shots that are shot outside that I need an ND on. Now, I will say if you're shooting gimbal and you're moving the camera a lot, it might be more of a requirement. If you're handheld like we are, uh, maybe that's the, I guess what it all comes down to. If you wanna do those fast gimbal over the ground shots, probably get an ND. If you don't, and you're fine handheld, you're probably not gonna really be able to see much of a difference in a normal human being. In fact, people might actually find sharper, chumpier footage crisper and nicer. I know two people that have made this comment. We did a, a snowboard video and snowboarding, fast movement obviously, and when you are observing 180 shutter, you get that nice motion blur, the footage is all buttery and smooth. Some people don't like that. Side by side, they prefer a high shutter speed version. I know crazy, but I don't make the rules, I just report them here on YouTube. That's also a test audience of two. So I don't know, what do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. And I will, uh, I gotta not stop throwing this around. I'm gonna break it. I will say though, if you are looking for an ND, not sponsored by Peter McKinnon, but this uh, ND VND slash mist filter, it's really quite nice. We do use it for a lot. And we use it more for the mist of it than the ND necessarily. Um, mist, so you're shooting 4K, if you're shooting a wedding, you're seeing everyone's individual little pores when you get nice and close to the mist filter, get a little little softness to it and uh, it feels nice. I said I wouldn't throw it, I'll stop. Goodbye, see you next time. Don't forget July 14th, membership website goes from 30 to $40, so get in before then or it's 100% money back guarantee. So if you get in and you're like, what was that? That wasn't what I thought it was. I'll send your money back within 30 days. Just let me know, here's my email. And if you wanna watch another video, there's a video right here that is my full wedding day video process. So you can go check that out if you want. It's very, very long. So uh, get a cup of coffee or a tea or a Red Bull. We have a Red Bull fridge. I'm gonna get one myself. See you tomorrow.